Hey everyone, it's another Monday, which means we're back with the next Smart Suite Showcase. If you are new, my name is Nate. This series is all about giving you insights to how customers are using our platform based on the work our onboarding team has done this past week. Today's episode, we're going to dive into managing your marketing leads, connecting them to your campaigns and content to start that measurement process. But we'll mostly focus on automating parts of your lead management for marketing. We'll dive into the measurement, planning, and production of marketing in the next couple of showcases. If you find this video helpful or want to download the template I'm talking about today, feel free to leave feedback comments in the comment section below, and you'll find all relevant links in the description below as well. Without further ado, let's dive right in. All right, we're back in our homepage. Just to remind you, if you go to the templates, jump over to Smart Suite Showcases, you're going to find all the showcases. Today, I'm going to be talking about this marketing showcase. So if you want to download it, feel free to click use template and it will be added to your workspace. We're inside of the solution. We have campaigns, contents, and leads slash opportunities. I'll focus mostly on opportunities today, but it's going to leak over into the content and campaigns. Right now we're looking at a pipeline by stage where we can see accounts and which stage they're in. Your leads can come in through a form like we have here, where you can submit information about accounts that you're trying to collect. Even with people that aren't working inside of SmartSuite, you can also bring in leads other ways through importing, integrating with other platforms, or creating records directly inside of here. The general information at the top with the stage, the owner, check-in, which I'll get into in a bit. We have sales details. Using to track some metrics like the value of this lead and likelihood to close, we have a checklist for an action plan. We also have contacts, so fields to capture your primary contact, and then a sub items to capture your secondary tertiary contacts in a condensed manner. We have sales assets and then campaigns. The first thing in automating your leads is with default values. So instead of our next actions checklist, we have three default values of steps that need to happen for every single lead. In this example, we have send the first check-in, link them to the campaign that they were brought in by, and then curate some sales assets from the content app that would be relevant for this lead. We also have a default value in this check-in, which is used to track your check-ins for an account. In this example, we have the default at not started. We also have a default value for the likelihood to close at 15%. These default values remove the need for some data entry which can be very valuable in saving time for your team. On top of that, you can use automations to also help your team be more productive. Let's say you want to send out a report to your team about the status of all your leads at a certain time every week. If we jump into automations, we can see I've created a send status report of marketing leads that happens on Mondays at 9 a.m. And it's going to send an email to our internal team. So maybe it's a different team than just your marketing with the app name report for marketing leads and the body of the message containing a share view link, which I will show you right now. Here is what that share view link takes you to. So when you send this email, all the departments and people in your business can look at a high overview of where accounts are in the pipeline. They don't need a smart suite account or have to be working in smart suite all the time. The next automation I want to share that customers are using is to send a message to a relevant place when there's a hot marketing lead and maybe the fulfillment team needs to prepare for this oncoming potential customer. Back in the automations, I've created when a record matches a condition with three conditions. The expected close is happening within this week. The likelihood to close is greater than 70% and the stage is equal to scoping. When those conditions are met, it's going to send a Slack message to a general channel that contains more than just our marketing team. And it contains the account name, the close date, and a link back to the record so people can access that lead and maybe access the next action steps that need to happen for that lead. There are a multitude of other ways you can automate this process. For example, when a new lead is submitted, you can send an initial email to them. You can also use this check-in field. When you change this field value to sent first check-in, it will send a templated email you have that goes to the primary contact of this account. So now that you've automated some of your lead management in your marketing process, you might want to think about now linking the accounts to the campaigns and content consumed. This gives us the opportunity to pull information into the content and campaigns and make a comparison between them and see which leads we have influenced between which content we've shared with them and the campaigns as well. I've created a view called pipeline by content consumed, which gives you a high level overview of which pieces of content that you've created are generating estimated value or actual contract value. When you also link a lead back to that campaign, for example, we go down to related deals, we can see the links to our leads for this campaign 
You can see accounts, the potential value of the leads, and then actual revenue from the leads. This allows you to see the total pipeline you influenced with a campaign and compare it to the budget or actual cost of the campaign, eventually leading to the measurement of your campaign ROI. SmartSuite is a great place to manage your marketing leads because you can automate and save time with our default values and automations. You can use them to manage the action items and the touch points with those accounts. You can also link them to the content and campaigns to get comparison on which campaigns, which content has been most successful, so you know which path to follow in the future. And that is going to wrap up this SmartSuite showcase. If you have any questions, feedback, feel free to leave that in the comments below. And if you're interested in using this template, you can easily download the template to your workspace below with a link in the description. And you can also start a free trial by clicking below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next Monday.